Hello everyone, I am Dr. Arun Sharma. In this video, I will explain about mole fraction, molarity that is represented by the symbol capital M, molarity in the bracket. Then we will discuss about molality that is represented by the symbol small m that is given in the bracket and normality. Normality is, is represented by the symbol capital M that is also given in the bracket. So one by one, we will, I will explain these terms and their applicable applications. What is mole fraction? Mole fraction, it is the ratio of number of moles of a particular component to the total number of moles of the solution. In my previous video, I already explained about mole concept, what is mole and what is molar mass. Here in brief, I am explaining one, once more, a mole is defined as the amount of a substance that contains exactly the Avogadro number that is a 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules per mole that is elementary entities of the given substance and this number is known as Avogadro number and it is also known as Avogadro's constant. So the molar mass of water that is we know at 18.02 grams per mole and the molar mass of sodium chloride that is 58.5 grams per mole. So here if we consider a substance that is A dissolves in other sub, uh, substance that is B. So substance A is we can say it is a solute and substance B that is a solvent and their number of moles are Na and Nb respectively. So Na is the moles of substance A or solute A and Nb is the number of moles of substance B or solvent B. Then the mole fractions of A and B are given here. Mole first we uh, take uh, the mole fraction of A. So the mole fraction of A is equal to the number of moles of A divided by the total number of moles present in the solution. So the total number of moles present in the solution that is equal to the, that is equal to the number of moles of solute plus the number of moles of solvent and the number of moles of the uh, sol solute A is Na and number of moles of sol solvent P is Nb. So the total number of moles is Na plus Nb. So this is the total number of moles present in the solution. So the mole fraction of A is equal to the mole fraction of A that is equal to Na upon Na plus Nb and mole fraction of B is equal to Nb upon Na plus Nb that is total number of moles. So this is about mole fraction. Now what is molarity? Molarity is represented by the symbol capital M and it is defined as the number of moles of the solute in 1 liter of the solution. Here the formula for the calculation of molarity is given here and molarity is the most widely used unit and uh, it is uh, many times used in chemical analysis for preparation of many solutions. So here this is the formula for molarity. Molarity is equal to the number of moles of solute divided by the volume of solution in liters. For an uh, numerical we are solving here to understand better about molarity. This numerical, first we read the numerical. In this numerical we have to calculate the molarity of sodium hydroxide in the solution prepared by dissolving its 4 grams in N of water to form 250 ml of the solution. So what values we have given? We have uh, given the sol solute that is sodium hydroxide. As we know its molar mass, the so molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 and its amount is already given. How many, how much, uh, how many, uh, so how many grams of sodium chloride which is used here that is 4 grams. So the number of moles of solute that is sodium hydroxide is uh, amount of the solute divided by its molar mass so will you will get the number of moles of the solute so that is 4 upon 40 that is 0.1 mole 0.1 mole sodium hydroxide we have as given in this uh, according to this numerical so we have to calculate uh, as the as uh, i have uh, ex give the formula for the calculation of molarity here the volume we have to use in terms of liter so 0.1 mole is present of sodium hydroxide is present in 250 ml of the solution. So in 1 liter how much? So you have to calculate it accordingly and convert this uh, uh, ml in terms of liters. 
so that is 0 0.250 liters or you can also write that in 250 ml 0.1 mole is present so in 1000 ml how much uh, number uh, how much moles are present that is called the molarity so here you you will get uh, when you solve the numerical 0 0.1 they have put the values in the numerical that is 0 0.1 upon 2.250 so molarity will be 0 0.4 moles per liter that is 0 0.4 that is the molarity capital M so here it is important point to note that molarity of a solution depends upon temperature because volume of a solution is temperature dependent because if the if you boil the solution then the volume will decrease the volume of sol uh, solution will decrease and the molarity will also change accordingly and it will increase because the amount of substance is uh, the fixed quantity and the, the amount of solvent decreases when you boil the solution so the molarity will increase so this will be the effect of the molar uh, temperature on molarity now what is molarity molarity is represented by the symbol small m and it is, it is defined as the number of moles of the solute present in 1 kilogram of the solvent so this is the formula for the calculation of molality no do not confuse between molarity and molality because both are different terms in case of molarity you have to uh, consider about the volume of the solution but here in case of molality you have to take the mass of the solvent that is in terms of kilograms so uh, this is the formula and one point uh, one, one more difference is that molarity is depend upon the temperature because when the temperature changes molarity will also change but molality of a solution does not change with temperature because mass remains unaffected with temperature mass, mass do, will not change when you boil and when you cool down it will remain same it is a, don't, it will not change when you do not uh, add any substance and you do not remove any substance so the mass will be the fixed quantity so the molality will not change in any uh, in any molality for a given uh, uh, compound do not will not change in the solution that will not change but mol molarity will change when the temperature uh, according to the temperature when it uh, uh, when it uh, will be high or less so this is the formula for the calculation of the molality now we uh, solve a, now we will solve a numerical to understand it in the better way the numerical says the density of three molarity three molar solution of sodium chloride is 1.25 gram per ml now calculate the molality of the solution now we will get the answer easily here the molarity is given that is 3 moles per liter as we know that uh, in one uh, if the solution the, the sodium chloride uh, solution um, weight is 58.5 that is that is the molar mass of the sodium chloride and 58.5 grams in uh, in one liter so we can say that the solution will be the one molar but here uh, the molarity is given that is three so you have to multiply it with three because in one liter 58.5 grams of the sodium chloride will be uh, should be present so in case of three molar uh, solution three moles of sodium chloride present in uh, in the one liter of the solution so it will be uh, the molar mass of sodium chloride will will, have to, will be multiplied with the Three. So you will get 3 into 58.5 uh, and you will get finally 175.5 grams. So that will, that will be the amount of the sodium chloride present in 1 liter of the solution. Now what will be the mass of the 1 liter of solution? So mass of 1 liter of solution because the density is given here and 1 liter that, is, that means uh, 1000 ml and in 1 ml that is 1.25 grams is present. 1.25 grams of sodium chloride will present. So in 1000 litre how many grams of sodium chloride will present that is 1250 grams so you have to multiply it 1000 with 1.25 so you will get the uh, you will get 1250 grams and because the density is given for the solution so mass of the water in solution what will be the mass of the water in solution you have to uh, subtract the mass of the sol uh, solution with the, the mass of the solute so you'll get the mass of the solvent and here the solvent is water so when you subtract 1250 minus 175.5 you'll get uh, the mass of the solvent that means the mass of the water present in the solution that is 1774.5 uh, 1074.5 grams so the molar molality as per the definition as per the formula that will that will be the equal to number of moles of the solute 
divided by mass of solvent in kilogram and here the number of moles of solute is 3 that is already given in the numerical and you have to put the mass of the solvent in kilogram so mass of the solvent in kilogram that is uh, we have calculated it 1074.5 that is in terms of grams but in terms of kilogram you have to divide it with uh, 1000 and you will get uh, 1.0745 kilograms so after solving we get the answer 2.79 molality so this is the difference between molality and molarity and how to solve the numerical this is very simple you can easily solve the numerical by putting the values by simple conversions and in, 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 in the formulas and you will get the answer in the final result now come to the normality normality is represented by the symbol capital n and normality is a measure of concentration equal to the gram equivalent weight per liter of the solution now here one more term is coming that is equivalent weight so what is equivalent weight equivalent weight is the mass of one equivalent that is the mass of a given substance which will combine with or displace a fixed quantity of another substance the equivalent weight of an element is the mass which combines with or displaces 1.008 gram of hydrogen or 8.0 gram of oxygen or 35.5 grams of chlorine so this is this is the definition of equivalent weight so in the in the, the numerical we will better understand it what what is equivalent weight and how we will calculate the normality so the formula for the normality calculation is in the number of grams equivalent divided by the volumes of solution in liter and the number of grams equivalent how do you calculate the number of grams equivalent that is equal to the weight of solute divided by the equivalent weight of the solute so here we talk about solute when you go we are, when will you go go for the calculation for uh, gram equivalents now come to solve the numerical according to this numerical calculate you have to calculate the normality of 0.53 grams per 100 ml of solution of sodium carbonate its molar mass that is mm is 106 grams per mole as the following reaction so the reaction is been given in here in the numerical and the basicity or uh, the acidity of this base is 2 because it consumes two protons to give the uh, products so here the equivalent weight of sodium uh, carbonate is uh, its uh, molar mass is uh, 106 it is it is already given in the numerical divided by its uh, acidity of sodium chloride uh, sodium carbonate so that is 2 and you will get the 53 grams per equivalent so 53 grams per equivalent is the equivalent weight of sodium carbonate now 0.53 grams in 100 ml solution so in 1000 uh, ml how many grams of uh, sodium carbonate will be present that is 5.3 because in 100 ml that is 0.53 so in 1000 ml it is 5.3 so you have to divide 5.3 divided by 53 so you will get finally 0.5 equivalent per liter so this is the normality and uh, one more important point you have to note that the normality is equal to the molarity into ba basicity of the acid or acidity of the base so here in the numerical base is given so you have to consider its acidity that is uh, given uh, here that is 2 so the normality is given so you can calculate the molarity also that is uh, 0 0.1 divided by 2 that means 0 0.05 mole molarity molarity moles per liter so uh, you can simply simply convert normality into molarity and molar if you know the molarity you can easily calculate easily find out or you can easily calculate the normality so if you know the uh, one uh, one value you can calculate the another value easily so this is the important point and the relation between the normality and molarity normality of an acid is equal to the molarity into basicity of the acid and normality of a base that is equal to the molarity into acidity of the base so you have to note these two relations when you have to when you uh, will calculate the normality or molarity if one of the value is given given and the base or the acid specified is given in the numerical Please subscribe this channel for more videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.